President Yoon Sokar participated in a distinguished lecture series on Wednesday in Singapore on day three of his Southeast Asia diplomacy tour this week. He emphasized how his vision for Korean unification would benefit the region's prospects for peace and how he aims to handle relations with China amid its rivalry with the U.S. intentions in the South China Sea. Our Ocean reports. A free and open unified Korea would contribute to the greater freedom, peace and prosperity of the Indo-Pacific region. That's according to President Yoon Song-yo upon his state visit to Singapore, as he took part in the prestigious Singapore Lecture, a lecture series that invites distinguished figures who visit the city-state. The South Korean leader on Wednesday emphasised how Seoul's Indo-Pacific strategy aligns with the objectives of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations to safeguard peace, stability, prosperity and a rules-based order in the region. He put a particular focus on his August 15th doctrine that envisions a unified South and North Korea as a formula for regional peace, saying the absence of North Korea's nuclear threats would lead to a stronger international non-proliferation regime and also help substantially reduce illicit trafficking in the region's waters and ensure a more secure and freer order of navigation. He also said Seoul will continue working closely with the international community to achieve these goals, pledging $100 million in funding over the next three years for development cooperation projects that promote democracy in Indo-Pacific countries. The president further said a unified Korea would promote greater economic development and prosperity across the region. Asked about concerns surrounding the geopolitical rivalry between Washington and Beijing, and tensions in the South China Sea, Yun said Seoul will aim to engage constructively with China to jointly promote a norms-based international order at both the regional and global levels. So we are talking about the international relationship, but also the international and the 솔직한 입장을 전달을 해서 문제가 합리적으로 풀릴 수 있도록 노력할 생각입니다. Noting he'd restored the trilateral summit between Seoul, Tokyo and Beijing earlier this year. Yun says Seoul will continue to restore dialogue channels at various levels to resolve issues or misunderstandings that may arise in the bilateral relationship with Beijing. The president will participate in an ASEAN Plus 3 meeting with Japanese Prime Minister Shigeru Ishiba and Chinese Premier Li Chang in Laos on Thursday to discuss the three East Asian nations' cooperation with the 10-member bloc of Southeast Asian countries. Oh Arirang News.